Hey guys, welcome to your sixth C Sharp tutorial, and uh, I gotta apologize to you. I told you guys in the last tutorial that this time I was going to be teaching you guys about control structures, but we're actually going to be learning about operators. Because if you know operators, then it'll just be easier for me to use examples to teach you the control structures. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> Operators are real easy. Um, it's basically just addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, stuff like that. But um, there's some special things you can do with them. And so I'm going to show you some of that. So let's go ahead and define some variables. Um, int x equals 5. Int y equals like 7. I like the number 5 if you haven't noticed yet. Um, and let's just do int z equals x plus y. Okay, so there you go. There's the plus sign. You use it. It adds the two numbers together if they're integers. 5 plus 7. And let's go ahead and do a console.writeLine. Do um, x plus, this just means that you're going to add another, let's see, hold on a second. y plus equals plus z. Okay. So it's going to print out the value of 5. And then this plus means that you're going to just... This this isn't actually an addition. This just means that you're going to um, take this and add it to the string that you're printing out as the value 5. And then this mean again, the plus just means that you're adding it to the rest of your string because when you put a integer in the console.writeLine method, it turns it into a string. So basically, you're just adding the string 5, uh, taking the string 5, sorry, and then adding the space plus space to it, and then adding 7, and then adding a space equals space to it, and then adding the Z, which should be 12. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Oh, oops. I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. Console.readline. Okay. 5 plus 7 equals 12. Okay. And we can do the same thing with a minus. 5 plus 7. Oh. Oh, look. 5 minus 7. Ah, caught me. Equals negative 2. Um, we can do the same thing if we, let's make this 10 and 5. Um, now when you're doing divided sign, obviously there's no divided sign on your keyboard. So you got to use a slash. That's divided by 5 divided, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. And then, oops, shoot, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, x times y, you use the asterisk um, character for multiplication. Um, so there's 10 times 5 is 50. Now there's another thing called a modulus. This modulus, modulus is really cool. It takes the number of x, which is 10, divides it by 5. And then whatever is left over is what you're going to put in z. So like when you used to divide and when you were in elementary school, if you divided like 7 divided by 5, you'd get one remainder of 2 because you had 2 left over after you divided the 7 by 5. So this should print out as 0. Sorry. Uh, so this here, this is 0 because whenever you divide 10 by 5, you get a remainder of 0. Now if I were to go in and make this like a 7, then it would come out with 10 modulus 7 equals 3, because when you divide 10 by 7, you get 1 remainder of 3. And that's used for, um, that's usually used if you want to tell if a number is even. So like if you do, you take the number and then you do modulus 2, if it's 0, then you can say that it's even or not. Um, now there are some other cool things you can do. Let's do int y x equals 10 again. Int y equals 5. And now you can come down here and do x plus equals 
y. So what this is saying, this means the exact same thing as x equals x plus y. So you're saying that x, 10, or x here, equals 10, because you have x equal to 10 up here, plus 5. And this statement and this statement are exactly the same thing. They do the exact same thing. It's just a shorter way of doing it. And you can do the same thing with minus. If you do minus and then minus. Multiplication, you can do the same exact thing. You do times equals, divided by equals, for divided. And you can even do modulus equals. Oh, crap. So it's a real nifty thing you can do. Um, you also have these things called unary operators. So let's do like int x equals 1. Okay? So then you do x plus plus. Whenever you want to do unary, you take the variable and then just put either two plus signs or two minus signs. It only works with plus or minus. And x plus plus actually adds one to whatever the number is. And x minus minus will subtract one from it. So let's do console dot right line, right line. Let's copy this here. Copy and paste. Let's do x x. Oh, shoot. I forgot again. I am just on a roll today, aren't I? 1, 2. Because it prints out 1, you add 1 to it, and then 2. And you can actually do this doing x++ plus plus and print it out like that. So let's take this out. You have to be extremely careful about this, because if you do the x++ plus plus outside or inside of your parameters, then it can really screw you up because you might think okay so this is going to print one two three well you, you're wrong because it prints one one three because when you send it in like this it'll go through and you'll go console.writeline okay let's print out x okay so now we're going to add one to x and so now it's two after you've already printed it out but if you do plus plus x then it'll add one before it prints it out and so again you have x so here are the different things that are the same exact thing as adding 1 to x. You have x equals x plus 1. This is it written out the long way to make it look, to make it be easier to understand. x plus equals 1, x plus plus, and plus plus x. And again, you use these, especially if you're going to use it as a parameter, then you'd want to use it. But most of the time, if you just do the x plus plus and x plus plus x outside of your um, outside of all of your parameters, then you really shouldn't have to worry about it at all. Um, so, just for safety, I never actually put x plus plus or plus plus x inside of a parameter and send it out. I just do um, uh, I just do it beforehand and then send down the variable. And again, you can do the same thing with x minus minus or minus minus x. Again, these are unary operators. They only work with plus or minus, and it's called unary because it's adding the number 1. Unary means 1. Um, and exponents are kind of tricky, too. You can't do... If you want to do 5 to the power of, like, 3, and a lot of pro pe people might think, okay, well, if to do it in the calculator, you just do the caret symbol. Well, that doesn't work. Let's see. Console dot right line. Right line. X. Console dot read line. I hate having to type this out all the time. Let's just put some space in there. Okay. Seven. For some reason, it adds it. it adds two to five. Don't really know why. It just does. So what you have to do is you use something that is inside of your system namespace here that you've imported, you're using technically, and it's math.pow, which stands for power, 5, comma, 3. So what this does is it sends down, okay, so x is equal to 5 to the power of 3. Why is this a double? I don't know why that's a double. It should be sending me back an int. Not a double. Okay, so anyways, 5 to the power of 3. 
125. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. So it takes 5 and raises it to the power of 3. <gasps> Excuse me. Um, so that's how you do exponents in C sharp. Um, so now that you know your operators, in the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys about um, control structures and to demonstrate that I'm going to use these newfound operators to um, as examples to help you learn it better. So I'll see you then.